ನಮೋ ತಸ ಭಗವತೋ ಅರ್ಹತೋ ಸಮ್ಮ ಸಂಬುಧ ನಮೋ ಬುದ್ಧಾಯ ಹೋಮೇಶ್ ಟು ದ ಟ್ರಿಪಲ್ ಜಿಮ್ ಹೋಮೇಶ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಹೋಲಿ ಫೀಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ವೆನರೇಬಲ್ ಬಡಾ ಭಂತೇಜಿ ಪೂಜನಿ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಬುದ್ಧರ ಕೀತ ಮಹಾಥೇರ ಹೋಮೇಶ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಹೋಲಿ ಫೀಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಸಪ್ಪ ಮಹಾಥೇರ ಅವರ್ ಅಬಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹೋಮೇಶ್ ಟು ದ ಸಂಗ ಹಿಯರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಹಾರ್ಟಿ ಮೈ ಮೆತ್ತ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು dear venerable monks upasakas and upasikas and all those who have joined online uh, especially today there are um, participants from the comprehensive course of buddhism uh, very hearty welcome now pankaj ji you can start thank you very much bante welcome all to comprehensive course on buddhism so we are continuing with upholding the dhamma in family and society and community our topic today is sigalo vada sutta worshiping the six directions the buddha has advised to sigala our teacher today is ven bikku kumar bikku kumar has uh, has taken one more session earlier he is coming back as our teacher today we are grateful to you bante um so before we continue with our session we will start with making a kshama yachana so on behalf of all the participants here i would be making up the yachana o ka savandami bhante dwaratayena maya kattam sab aparadham khamatume bhante ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ಪಿಯೋಕಾಸವಂದೇ ದ್ವಾರತೆಯನ ಮಾಕತ್ತಪರಾಧೇ ತೃತೀಯ ಪಿಯೋಕಾಸವಂದೇ ದ್ವಾರತೆಯನ ಮಾಕತ್ತಪರಾಧೇ sadhu 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 thank you very much bante we will go back to our session now again this is week 6 session 2 we are continuing with upholding the dhamma in family society and community and our topic today is sigalo vada sutta worshiping the six directions the buddha has advised to sigala our teacher today is ven bikku kumara bante kumara i request you to please start the dhamma de snatam de kaina vacha chiti na pamadi na mayankatang ಆಚಾಂ ಖಮಿ ಭಂತಿ ಭೂರಿ ಪೈಂಗ್ಯಾಂ ತಥಾಗತ ನಮೋ ಸಂಬುಧ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಉಮೇಶ್ ಟು ದ ಬುಧ ಧಮ್ಮ ಸಂಘ ತ್ರಿರತ್ನ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಉಮೇಶ್ ಟು ದ ಅವರ್ ಬರ ಭಂತಿ ಜಿ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಬುಧ ರಕ್ಷಿತ ಉಮೇಶ್ ಟು ದ ಅವರ್ ಕಸಪ ಭಂತಿ ಜಿ and who means to the our sangha here and my dear <coughs> samira anagarika and my dear upasak upasika 
those are joined online and here. Today, I will discuss about Singhalawada Sutta. This Singhalawada Sutta, uh, the explain about the here is main topic is six directions. When the Buddha was staying at the bamboo grove Vihara in Rajagaha, in nowadays we have Bihar in Rajgir, called the Rajgir. Just before uh, when the Buddha was staying in Rajagaha, then the Buddha um, just before the doing his Samadhi in the college is Mahakarun, Mahakaruna Samapati. Through his Samadhi, the Buddha survived the entire universe uh, with um, Sabba Yutangyana, that's called unit, unicent visions in, in Pali called Sabba Yutangyana. And those who, uh, who were spiritual mature appear in his mental screen. Buddha having full investigate the spiritual potential of the individual, Buddha visit him. And Buddha touch him, the Buddha, uh, the Dhamma in such a way as to bring about his spiritual transformation. One day, one morning, Sigala appear in Buddha mental scream. The compassion, compassion want emerging, emerging from his meditation penetrate into Sigala spiritual potential and so through the entering course of young man future life. Buddha having rope himself and went out for his forenoon er, arms round arrived at the spot where Singala was practicing his daily spiritual. The Buddha went to him and asked to Singala, Racing early in the morning, departing from Rajagaha with wet clothes and wet ear, worshipped the joint hand, different direction, the east, the south, the west, the north, the nether, and the genith. Singala replied to the Buddha saying, most venerable sir, in this dead bed, my father instruct me to follow this Asian custom. So out of the sharp reverence for my father's wish, I am practicing this custom. In this story, single up parents and the singala had opposite char character. The singala father was extremely genius about Buddha Dhamma Sangha. But his son singala was stingy and fond of worldly pleasure. He never listened to elders while his father was modest. In his old age, the Singhala father sincerely, the seriously through how to change his son mentality. He had already tried to take his son with him to meet the Buddha, but Singala had no interest in the spiritual value. At last, when he was that bad before drying, he told his son, Oh, my dear son, racing early in the morning after a take bath, 
before you drying your hair and cloth, should you go out a pair, worship to the six direction, the east, the south, the west, the north, the nether, and the genit. This was widely practiced custom of the people in hope that they will thus be protected. Buddha said to the Singala, this is not how one pay homage to the six direction in this noble one spiritual discipline. Singala asked to, to the Lord, how then should one pay homage to the six directions in keeping with the noble one's spiritual discipline? If the Lord would tell me the proper way, indeed, it will be very good. Buddha said to the Singala, well, Singala, since the four defilings actions have been abundant by the noble discipline, since implied by four motiva motivations and does not pursue the sixth way of dispatching wealth, thus avoid, avoiding this 14 Ill, uh, evil way, he covered the six directions and entered into the path which led, led him to victory over both worlds. World. He succeed both in this world and the world beyond and on the dissolutions of the body after that he, he is re, reborn in a happy destiny in the divine Indri lands. Singala asks the Buddha, what are that? The Buddha said, for defiling actions, young holders, singala, killing of those life is a defiling actions. Taking what is what is not give is a defiling actions. Committing sexual misconduct is a defiling actions. Telling lie is a defiling actions. These actions are both defile and keep defiling with mind. Singala, listen again, um, poor, uh, poor motivations here. One commit an evil actions when motivated by desire. One commit an evil actions when motivated by hatred. One commits an evil actions when motivated by delusions. Actions when motivated by fear. But this noble discipline is not motivated by desire, is not motivated by hatred, delusion, fear, is does not commit evil actions in place by these four action for evil actions motivate of evil actions. Six way of dispatching well. Addictions to addiction, addiction to intoxicant drink. Those are drink the alcohol. Uh, what happened? W wasting money here and there. Increasing of quarrel. Pronounce of desire, disease, loss of good report, one person, weakness, weakenings of one intellectual faculties. These are the danger of addictions of alcohol drinker. Hunting the strains of unbenefiting hours. Uh, this, uh, this one, one is exposed by aggressions thus unpromoted, 
One's wife and children are exposed by aggressions, thus unprotected. Unpro unpro One is suspe suspect of criminal act. One's properties are exposed by de to danger, thus unprotected. One's unco encounter all kinds of painful, unhappy situations. These are the danger of hunting the st uh, states of unhappy hours. Frequenting sphere, once has to in uh, inquire, where is dancing, where is singing, where is music, where is uh, telling stories, these are the danger of frequency fear. Addic addictions of gambling. Those are uh, play the gambling. We, uh, winnings, breast, hatred, loss, uh, be, uh, be well for his um, bare bread, loss of wealth here and there. His words are not trust in assembly. He is not this this uh, displaced by his friend and companies these are danger of gambling those are play the gambling keeping bad companions those are live is a bad companions those are bad persons uh, make gamble, gambler uh, rowdy drunkard uh, pre preventers these are the bad person associated uh, Frank with the danger. Habitual lazy, laziness. Those are lazy, said. He said, it is too cool when does no work. He said, it is too hot and does not work. He said, I am too hungry and does not work. These are danger of hab habitual lazy persons. So Buddha said, oh dear Singala, in this world have four kinds of good friends, four kinds of bad friends. Listen carefully, uh, say so four kinds of bad friends means uh, bad friends, evil friends. Uh, Anya Datu Hara, in the Pali called Anya Datu Hara, one who only takes, mean one who only takes, means uh, one who takes all uh, he can, but he does not give to other friends. Wachi Parama, one who offer only lip service. A person who only take from uh, help, but when his correct time to help, he, he run away. Onupia Bang, one who is a platter, a person who uh, consent to you doing wrong, and he uh, presses to your face. Apaya Sahaya is means one who is a following Western. He is your companion when you indulge in the strong drunks, drinks. He is your friend when you are hunt, shoe, and fear. He is your companion when you are infect, infected with gambling. For this reason, should uh, consider a bet in friend. Four kinds of good friend. Upaka, upakaraka, one who ever is helper. Those are uh, good friend. He protect when you are hitless. He protect your properties when you, you are hitless. Samana Sukha Dukha, 
this Pali, one who remind the same boot of ta in time of happiness and misery. He tell your his secret. He keep your secret. He does not uh, forsake you in misfortune. He would even sacrifice his life for your good. Ataka uh, number three, one who give advice only for your good. He restrained your, uh, you from doing wrong. He encouraged for you to do good. He informed you of what you have not heard. Anukampaka, one who is a truly sympathetic, this kind of friend, he does not rejoin at your misfortune. He rejoin at your prosper properties. He restrained others from speak ill of you. He com comment others who speak good of you. For this re reason should one who remain a uh, consider a good friend. Now, Buddha said again, Singala, listen properly, Singala. Uh, Buddha said, Mata Pita Disa Puba, Acharya Dakhina Disa, Puta Dara Disa Pacha, Mita Machacha Utara. Dasa Kamma Kara Hitha, Udang Samana Brahmana, Ita Desa Manasiya, Alamatu Kuli Gihi. This is a Pali meaning. It means Mata Pita Disang Puba. This compare uh, the mother and father as the East. Acharya Duk. Dakhina Desa. Acharya means teacher as the South. Puta Dara Desa Pacha, wife and children as the West. Mita Macha Cha Uttara, friend and associate of the North. Dasa Kamakara Hita, honor and servant as the Neda. Utang Samana Brahmana means monks and holy person as the Janit. Ita Desa Manasiya Alamutu Kutihya means thus should he live the life of a true householder. Now, his directions, uh, Buddha explained about. Child, uh, children, children to the parents. Uh, this is duty of the children, means uh, son and daughter. Supporting them, performing duty for them, keep up the honor and the tradition of your family, being worthy of his inheritance, offering arms and give to honor the departed relatives. This is for the uh, ch children, uh, means son and daughter, the duty for parents. And parents' duty, uh, number one, they re restrain, restrain him from com uh, committing evil. The, trained him to do good. They train him in some skill, good skill, arrange marriage to a suitable partner, and hand over inheritance at the proper time. In this five way, parents as the 
Eastern directions by their children to show their love for him. South directions, students to teacher, students to duty, racing to show respect when teacher come, waiting for him, attend deeply listening to his uh, instructions by personal service his teaching this is the uh, this five way should the students have their teacher as the southern directions teacher duty to students train him to be well dis discipled but disciplined make him grasp well what should be uh, gr grasp it teach him truly to make him a master in knowledge and skill Intro introduce him to his friend provide for his safety and ever the every directions in five ways to teacher Thus, uh, the southern directions of their student love for uh, uh, their students. Now, western directions, west, uh, west, west, west directions, uh, husband to wife means husband duty. Love, uh, love your wife, give your property, Provide providing her what she need. Uh, sexual misconduct with another woman. Not disputing your uh, your wife means uh, here is uh, love your wife means uh, you you must love because of depend uh, she came depend on you that is why his love giving property means whatever in the home then you need uh, give the properties providing her what she need uh, here is sexual misconduct means uh, this kami sumichachara in the pali not disputing for uh, your uh, wife your wife means don't uh, torture her now wife duty Love your husband, same. Protecting whatever he bring. Being hospit hospital to be people around means uh, here. This is my parents. I take care of him, but um, this is my husband, the relative. I not take care of him. Don't know, because uh, this is the same. Same you have to take care. Sexual mis misconduct with another man being energetic and ho um, not lazy in uh, fulfilling tests. This is uh, this is for five uh, wife duty in five ways. His wife does serve as the west direction show her love in for him. No directions. A persons of good family to friends means a good uh, good persons. First, generosity, uh, kind words, promoting their welfare, treating tra treating them as and the quality the equality quality, keeping his words in this way the shoot a person of good ministry to their friend as the uh, northern directions. Friend to a person of good family. Protect him when he is uh, heedless. Protect his property when he is heedless. When they are a refuge for him, when Not forsake him when he is troubled. Show concern for his children. Uh, 
In five ways, five ways he's plain and a person of good family does serve as no him. Neither directions, honor to worker. Assigning their duties according to their ability, providing male, looking after them in sickness, sharing with the, them any choose food, relieving them from work at right time. In five ways, honor to his worker and employer as the nether directions. Worker to honor duty, get him, get up before him, get up bed, get go bed after him, receive only what is there given, perform duties satisf satisfactory, spread his, uh, his good name and press him. In five ways, ministry by their honor, worker and genet directions, good upasaka, render service with love, uh, love did render service with the love words. By keeping his house open for them, by providing for their bodily needs in five ways, should the good upasaka to monks as the genie gen directions. Mong to good upasaka, restrain him from good evil, uh, doing evil, encourage him to do good with a lo loving heart, sure blessing, teach him what he has not heard. Make no to him the path leading to divine realms. In these five ways, uh, thus ministry at Jenny directions should their love to him. When the Buddha speak, the singala say to the Buddha, excellent, O Lord, sadhu sadhu. As if one were to set upright what was overturned or uh, reveals what was hidden or point out to way to one who had got lost or hold a lamp in darkness so that this what I sight may see even the Dhamma uh, has been well profound in many directions where I by the Buddha. I do take refuge in, in the Buddha, Dhamma and Sangha. May the blessing one receive me as a lay follower, one who has taken refuge from this very day uh, under till life in. Singala said. Now my speech is concluded here. And Bawa to Sabba Mangalang, all beings be happy. Yes, Pankajji, if you have any questions, we can take a few questions. Okay, Bente. Bente, these are. Yeah, this was uh, uh, 
this was a, a very very interesting sutta there are so many details lord buddha gives about uh, different aspects of uh, practicing like uh, six directions like uh, four uh, evil ways and four defiling motivations and uh, uh, evil friends and good friends and like that bring the buddha brings uh, very clearly the awareness of these different kinds of individuals so we have to be very careful uh, in choosing our friends and uh, in uh, fulfilling our duties in whatever position you are in uh, in the family or you are responsibilities uh, in your workplace so the buddha explains about these things so now if you have any questions please go ahead pankaj ji thank you very much bante bante uh, the first question comes is um, how can we motivate youngsters towards the right view of the mapat towards the right right view of the dhamma path right view Helping. of dhamma path yes 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 how to motivate the youngsters uh, to to know that this is the right view this is the right dhamma one of the ways is to allow them to have discretion discrimination discretion discretion uh, power to discriminate between distinguish between sorry distinguish between good things and bad things now unless there is little bit of experience and a little bit of joy nobody will undertake any kind of practices not just youngsters even the grown ups the grown ups get into dhamma more easily because they have the kicks of life kicks of dukkha in their lives so that's why they try to find solutions and come to the dhamma whereas uh, youngsters some are born very quite uh, intelligent and uh, wise uh, because of the karmic deposits and some are born with little hindrances who will take little time for whatever the reason whatever the situation may be you can give the joy this joy of doing good how do you teach this joy of doing good tell them to give sharing just small small things practicing the dana uh, sharing with uh, birds animals and like ants and uh, such kind of sharing some food and other things and then not just sharing loving how to save when when they can save one ant from water that will give much better lesson and joy for the youngsters to follow non violence so these are practices certain things which you do yourself in front of the youngsters because their observation is very keen and through observations they learn so giving dana or saving lives doing good things because preaching comes later but showing by example small small good things will give a uh, joy of goodness so that is how you can motivate the children and tell them 
that this dhamma is not a set of rules pressurizing and forcing thrusting on the uh, young minds instead they are much more practical ways practical uh, situations where one can really enjoy so like that you may try thank you very much mente that is very practical advice for all the parents thank you mente mente this next question is um, related to observing panchashila and atashila can this panchashila and atashila be taken at any time of the day mente yes panchashila and atashila you may take any time of the day morning afternoon evening night before sleep these are undertaking whenever you undertake trisarana and shila you are purifying your mind strengthening your mind if you take in the morning that will help you in the in the morning to be more aware so you take again in the afternoon it will keep your awareness awareness of following the panchashila in, in your speech and actions take in the evening that will help you take in the night even in the dreams you will not break your shila that will help you to make mind so strong and sensitive atta shila you can also take any time if you take uh, atta shila before 12 o'clock then you have uh, lunch before 12 o'clock if you take after 12 o'clock then of course uh, uh, you if you had had your lunch well otherwise after the lunch you can take and you can skip your uh, dinner and other hard food uh, so like that shila has no time the more times you undertake it is better it is good it becomes shila anusati meditation on virtue so when you remember again and again the precepts that becomes contemplation on virtue if you have done something wrong acknowledge that oh that was wrong that was my shila was uh, defied so now i restore it again now i once again make it purified like that you can do and when you have already practiced shila rejoice in that also oh i have not killed i have not harmed any living being so rejoice like that i have not stolen cheated com uh, committed sexual misconduct or said lies or intoxications like that when you uh, recollect and uh, reinforce these actions which you have practiced and you remember you should remember that i have practiced don't take it for granted saying oh I, it is done it is i don't need to remember no you remember that you have practiced then it becomes very powerful silanu sati and it also will turn those activities into very specific actions of wholesomeness yeah. thank you very much mante mante this one is just a quick one to follow up how can we take the panchashila mante should we just hold hand and uh, sit in front of a buddha statue um yes uh, and, and just say it loud out loud how do we take uh, panchashila in the morning it would be very good if you if you go in front of the buddha statue and pay homage and then undertake trisarana and panchashila surely it is very very powerful because you are you, in your mind the buddha is there in front of you you feel it so it is as if you have you are undertaking trisarana and panchashila in front of the 
Supreme Buddha, so the commitment is very strong. And that is the teachings of the uh, Supreme Buddha. So as disciple and follower of the Buddha, it will help you to uh, follow. Otherwise, for example, if you are traveling and in other, in other places, there also you can take, remember the Buddha in, in your mind, and then you undertake Trisaranayana Panchashila. Or you can, whenever, wherever possible, if you meet the monks, uh, then you take Trisaranayana Panchashila from the monks or nuns. And uh, in other times, you take on your own. But when you are taking, remember the Buddha make your mind more joyful and more pure. Feel uh, that you are in the presence of the Buddha. So like that, this can be very, very powerful exercise. So Bhante, we can take the Shila. I, I mean to say that all the Upasas and Upasikas can take the Shila without a bhante giving us a shita, we can take it on our own. Yes. Take Whenever it. possible, you take uh, from the bhantes. When it is not possible, you take on your own. That is also equally, if you take with full of mindfulness and uh, with full of sadha, that will uh, equally give the same results. You can even take atta shila and practice it. Thank you very much, Bhante. Bhante, um, do we have time for one more? Um, uh, this one is, uh, I'll try to take one more Bhante here. Um, if we had to attend a marriage or any family function where they serve both non veg and veg food, is it going to break my shila and add new karma to me for consuming uh, or attending these functions or consuming the food there? No, that will not break your shila. As uh, Lord Buddha has given some very sp simple instructions about non-vegetarian, if you have seen with your own eyes, oh, this animal is killed for my sake, then don't eat. If you hear, oh, it is killed for your purpose, then don't eat. Or if you feel in your mind doubt, if you feel, oh, maybe, maybe this animal is sacrificed for my purpose, if that doubt arises, then also don't eat. If it is totally free from all these three, then there is nothing related to your uh, Sheila, the first Sheila, killing Sheila. Then you can eat it. Uh, then if you eat with greed and other things, that is different matter. We are speaking about uh, the precept of killing here. Thank you very much, Pante. Pante, with that, uh, we will stop for the question and answer here. There are a few more questions that we will help answer on via email, or we will. We are also planning to have a, a, a video being made with the most commonly asked questions, and we will share that video as well with uh, with, with with the with the participants of the course. Um, with that, Bhante, I, I request you to please take over and uh, um, take over for the session today, Bhante, and make the dedications and uh, things of India. Thank, Thank you very you. much, uh, Pankajji, for conducting this uh, course, comprehensive course on Buddhism. And our uh, Buddha Datta Bhantaji has organized today. He is uh, still having cough. Uh, we wish him speedy recovery. This is a wonderful course reaching out to so many people. You have taken so much of trouble to organize and 
uh, it has been merged with our Sunday talks so that uh, the Sunday talk is also part of this, this course. That is how today we had this uh, Sigalo Vada Sutta. I recommend this book here. Um, this is called uh, Gihi Vinaya. Gihi means Grahastas, uh, lay people's Vinaya, your uh, Grahastas discipline. Householder's Book of Discipline by our Bada Bhanteji, Acharya Buddha Rakita Bhanteji. This should be your excellent companion and uh, it helps you so much to read uh, the Sigalo Vada Sutta with both Pali on one side and English on the other side. As the Sutta contains so many divisions like six directions and then four defiling actions, four motivations for evil actions, all that our Bhanteji said, you know, maybe it is difficult for you to remember so many kinds of uh, analysis and uh, divisions and some kinds of uh, sometimes uh, 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 some kind of repetitions like uh, six ways of wasting the wealth. So when you when you do certain things in six ways, you will be wasting. Like if you become addicted to alcohol, you will waste wealth. If you roam in the streets in the evening after the night, when night have night comes, you will waste your wealth. And if you just all the time frequenting to uh, fairs and uh, what you call melas. <laughs> melas will take you to more jamelas. Huh? So you will lose your wealth. And gambling, uh, that is another way of losing wealth. And bad evil friends. Who will make friendship with you and just, just knock off your will? And laziness, that will also. Now six ways the Buddha says you will waste wealth. But not just that. The Buddha, Supreme Buddha is enlightened one. He is very, very precise and specific. So he explains, for example, uh, alcohol. How this alcohol is dangerous. Why one wastes wealth through alcohol? How one wastes wealth through alcohol? Then there are again six reasons. Like that gambling, the Buddha gives six reasons. Evil friends, the Buddha gives six reasons. So six ways of wasting wealth into six, it will be 36. So like that, uh, there are quite many kinds of analysis uh, the Buddha has made in this. So I request you to uh, take this wonderful book, get this book, and maybe uh, you can have it online also. I don't know, uh, but uh, Pankajji and uh, Buddha Datta Bhanteji, you may, you may share this book with uh, all the participants. Uh, it may be possible. I don't know if it is uh, soft copy is available. My torn copy is here. <laughs> but anyway, it is such a wonderful handbook. It can be very, very uh, interesting. Just even if you just open any page and read one passage, Wow, what kind of analysis our Supreme Buddha has done. Every aspect of Grahastha life, the Buddha has uh, to save, to save people from going to hell, as simple as that. Going to hell after death, going to hell as living person also. If you don't follow this, your life will be hell here and now. So dear Upasakas and Upasikas, I wish you all the best.
uh, enjoy this Dhamma. Today we will do the Punya Numodana. Huh? Thank you very much, Bhante. Namo Buddhaya.